Daphne and I spent a lot of time together yesterday. First, she needed a coat of masking tape to get her all beautified. And then after that, we mixed fred and water together, put it into this gross stuff, soaked a bunch of paper on her. And then overnight, she sat under the blow dryer just, and she got a good drying. And she's still mm, a little damp in some places so she can't get painted just yet. Daphne can't walk and I can't carry her everywhere. So she's gonna need a chariot. She needs a sweet ride. So we're gonna make this wagon into a sweet ride for Miss Daphne or Loki's double. Do you like the ear? What do you think? Nobody has guessed. I'm gonna get to work. You guys watch. it or not but yesterday it was a total of eight hours that we worked together and the Sunday before that was also eight hours because I didn't have any time during the week to work on the project. Chewy we need to speak because here's your logo right front and center in my video and I'm not sponsored like just and this is the second craft project that I have done using Chewy Bucks. But the cool thing about this is that now I have this awesome base for my wagon. And who knows what I can do with this awesome base that I have for my wagon. All kinds of things. Way cool. On to the next step because the frame is not quite complete because in my mind, Daphne is, Daphne, my dear, she's royalty and she needs a covered chariot. Regular old chariot is not gonna do. Right, girl, you think? Thank you, dollar store. These are broom handle sticks and they are gonna help make the chariot.
Day. Uh, and I'm sweating to death because I'm trying to work so fast to get this done in the allotted amount of time. And it's just not, it's so hard. It's so hard. Um, <laughs> so I came up with this other idea that I like so much better for these poles. And it's just so much easier. Uh, so you take toilet paper roll and you stick it to the box. And you stick it to the box. Kind of like that. Let me move the camera so you can see. So I'm going to go back through and reinforce this with some good tape because I don't think painter's tape is really the, you know, best way to, to do this. But it was what I had at the moment. And it actually works really good for trial and error type stuff. So, but then... Put a piece on the bottom toilet paper roll here. Piece of tape. I made a terrible mess. I used up all of my paints, all of the acrylic paints, and I ran out, and there's spots. Spots. I didn't wanna to have to buy more paint, but I might have to. Um, I have some poster board paint, but you're supposed to seal it with this acrylic paint first, and then you paint on colors. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm a mess. And that's after I wash my hands.